Okay, folks, well, it's supper time here in St. Augustine on Anastasia Island, and we are at a place behind us that is known as the place to come for shrimp in St. Augustine. It's called Osteen's Restaurant, and they are famous for their fried shrimp. We have been here several times. There's always a wait time. We're in about a 30 or 40 minute wait right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do our intro here. Uh, this is a very popular place. You wanna uh, come before you plan to eat and put your name in because you can wait anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And there's usually a little antique store next door. You can kill some time, but it's closed for the evening. So uh, we're just gonna kind of sit around. The breeze is blowing. It's not near as hot as it was. So we're gonna go in tonight at Osteen's and, and have something to eat. I'm gonna get shrimp. I don't know what you're gonna get, but we're gonna- Probably shrimp, but I'll let everybody Okay, but go with us tonight and uh, see how it goes. Side of it, and as you can see, the parking lot is full. Zoom up on that, just full parking lot. We had to open several people sitting outside. So, what you do is you walk right up to that window right there, and you have to register your name there before you go in. So here's their hours. They're closed on Sunday and Monday. They operate Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 8.30, and they're closed on Sunday. No debit or credit cards there, cash only. Okay, so they told us 30 or 40 minute wait. I think we were seated in 20 or 25. I think definitely under 30 minutes. Very busy place. Now this is cash only. They may take a local check. I don't know, it just says no credit cards. I don't know about a check, but uh, if you have cash, uh, that'd probably be best. And they are a non-smoking establishment. And I'm gonna show you the menu here. The first thing that strikes me about this menu is that for this area, they are very reasonably priced. Let me try to get up close to that. At least on the shrimp they are, which is what they're famous for. And if you want more than the uh, standard size shrimp, you can get an order and a half, which I guess would come with uh, 18. And then you could get 24 for $26. That's, that's pretty good for shrimp, don't you think? We got some broil selections. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk loud. It's very noisy in here. Here is the location. Here's the phone number. Here are the hours again. There's your desserts. And I'm going to go ahead and say something else here. We've been here three or four times at least, right? I will say this is home of the world's best coleslaw. Of any seafood restaurant I've been to, this is the best coleslaw. Well, I should say that's not pineapple coleslaw. You've heard me say I like a wet coleslaw. This is about as done right as you can get it. I hope they've not changed it. All right, yeah, I'll get those. If you don't want shrimp, and I can't imagine why you wouldn't, but if you don't, they've got some chicken steak and chops. Okay. Now here. They also have chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings. Which must be their daily special. Pickled beets. 
I can't imagine getting that as a side. So there are your sides. What does that say? Shrimp sauce. Oh no, I'm sorry. Shrimp salad, eleven ninety five. Got some old pictures on the wall here. I'm gonna do a quick pan around of the restaurant. Very busy tonight. Folks, the food was out within what six or seven minutes. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, you got? Did you get the big shrimp platter, the nine or the twelve? Nine. Okay, I got the twelve. And I got fruit salad and coleslaw. Their coleslaw looks a little different. I hope they haven't changed that up. Those are hush puppies. Those look really good. All right, I'm a little worried about the coleslaw here. It looks a little different than I remember it, but I'm going to taste it first to see. It has been a couple of years. But... Still tastes good, but it's not as moist as it used to be. That's a disappointment. Um, all right, so let's try one of the shrimp. They're very hot, so. Oh, be careful. Yeah. Very good. Still, they haven't changed the shrimp. Still very good. And the shrimp is like butterfly cut. Yeah, yeah it is. So they haven't changed that, so that's good. Yeah. And those hush puppies that they give us are massive. They are very big. So. All right, folks, just came out of Osteen's. We actually got in and out of there a lot quicker than I thought. Mm -hmm. we, had, we had a little bit of a wait to get in, but it was not as long as they said, and the food was out really quickly. Yes. So, um, why don't you start off? This is our fourth trip here. You know, somebody over there laughing at us. So. Really? Yeah. Somebody made fun of us last yeah. night because we had a selfie stick. Like, well, he hollered at us. Yeah. This like, girl's just over there giggling. So, right. I'll put her on here. Yeah, she is. <laughs> anyway, all right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now she's really laughing. Okay, so um, I got just the nine piece shrimp meal, which comes with two sides. Um, I got the french fries and the slaw. The slaw was good. Um, the french fries were just cut fries, nothing special. Um, the shrimp's really good. It's cut butterfly. Um, it's got a pretty thick batter on it, not overly crunchy, not not like bland or anything like that. And then it comes with a special, what you say, pink sauce? Yeah, it's a pink, I don't know what, what she House called sauce it. or something. I don't know what's in it. But, um, it was good, but she says if you put that daddle do, um, that's hot a famous sauce, thing around saying hot obviously. sauce in it makes it even better. So I did that, <clears throat> and it was it was really good. So I dipped my shrimp and my fries in that. Those big hush puppies were very um, what, where am I looking? A lot of bread, I guess you could say. I only ate one of them. They were still good, but I just didn't really want the other one. But my meal was good. I enjoyed it. Our waitress, she was super nice. Um, yeah, I'd come back. Okay. All right, yeah, um, I kind of agree with about everything you said. Probably the least part of, impressive part of my meal was the hush puppies. They were not bad, just, I've had better hush puppies. What this place is really known for is the shrimp and, in my mind, the coleslaw. Now, I misspoke a little bit. I spoke too soon, I should say. I told y'all when I tried the coleslaw that it wasn't as good as I remember, that it wasn't as moist, but what it was, it was so moist, all the moisture was in the bottom. So once I stirred it back around and tried it again, it was right on. So uh, I do want to correct that. The coleslaw was just like I remembered it. It's just all the, uh, the wetness was in the bottom of the uh, little cup. So anyway, it was really good. So the shrimp was good as always. Again, this is the place in St. Augustine to go for shrimp. That's what they're known for. So um, I guess the one thing I will say the about the bathrooms now, uh, the bathrooms are not in the building. Uh, if you go back in the corner, you'll see a door with an exit sign over it. You go out that door. The bathrooms are small and not very clean. I will say that. Uh, that's probably the one downside, I guess, is the bathrooms do need some attention. So, um, other than that, the food was great. The place was busy. I'll tell you something else I did like. Uh, the lady, as you go up to pay, you don't pay at the table. You go up to pay the lady at the front. That was one of the busiest women I've ever seen. She's answering the phone. She's dealing with people at the window trying to put their names in and she's letting petting people pay she's like she'd need eight arms to do her job uh, uh she's got a lot on her but she was very friendly and everybody that went out including us she said god bless you and your family i like that i like somebody who who says that she also told me i had pretty eyes that's another reason i like her because i hadn't been told that in a while i used to get told that a lot i had blue eyes uh but she told me, she goes you have very pretty eyes so um i made a new friend tonight so but anyway <laughs> she was uh, just you know saying god bless you to everybody 
Uh, so it, that was, it was it was overall a very good experience. It was. I would recommend it if you're in St. Augustine, just cross over the Bridge of Lines, go maybe, what, half a mile, a mile at the most. Yeah, no, uh, I don't think it's even it Maybe not even a mile. Look for it on your right. Uh, it'll say Osteen's, and uh, it's a very popular place. You'll probably see people outside of it. Yeah. So anyway, um, overall, good experience. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.